Hey everyone! So, as you can see, I went and got myself the Godzilla figure from the MonsterVerse, Godzilla vs Kong. And we've got the Godzilla with Heat Ray, because I may have mentioned last time uh, when we looked at the back of the packaging. I, I actually kind of liked the fact that this one just had a basic uh, translucent blue spine, which I thought looked pretty cool. And yeah, if we take a closer look, pretty cool. Again, it has the battle damage reveal. The Kong figure had that as well, except he had it on his arm. And we can see the gash right there. That is... Ow. I do feel like they could have... Because I'm guessing those are meant to be like his ribs. He could have painted those to look like bone, but I guess uh, I guess it is supposed to be bleeding, so it doesn't matter too much. Maybe I don't know. Um, but yeah, so pretty much the same as the Kong figure. Packaging is exactly the same. Yep, we still have the burning city. Scenario going on. Yep, in the back. So we got this Kong last time with a fighter jet, and then when there's still these two Kong and Godzilla. I don't know if I'm gonna bother her getting all of these uh, figures. Uh, I'm I mostly wanted the Kong and Godzilla. You know, to have the Kong versus Godzilla scenario. I'm I'm not really too majorly fussed about these two. And these two are basically just repaints of these, I think. It looks like uh, this Godzilla is slightly different. But again, I kind of like this one with the translucent blue spikes. And the Kong is slightly different tone, which, I mean, I don't know if, uh, exactly how, how much different they are in, you know, when you actually have it in hand. Because, uh, like, the pictures look lighter than the toy itself when you hold it. But... This Kong has more of a screaming, oops, just shook the camera a little bit, sorry. He has more of a screaming face expression and this one, uh, this one just has an angry face. I kind of prefer that one. I'm not really too fussed about the axe because let's face it, you could you could probably uh, use anything in his hand uh, to fight uh, to fight Godzilla, and it will still look pretty cool. Um, plus, it comes with a fighter jet. You, uh, I think I did it at the end of the video where I put the fighter jet in in his hand, and it's like you could easily just use the fighter jet to smack Godzilla. So, to open this up, I think we can just cut this. Oh, okay, that, that's all we need to cut for Godzilla. Just put you over there. Cut that. We have the tail. And then we need this part. we have this thing there and the piece of Godzilla's chest All right, so we didn't actually need to destroy this uh, one <laughs> like we did last time I'm sure we could have avoided uh, the destruction but oh well so first 
we have uh, this ball joint here to connect Godzilla's tail. If we can, okay, we can move his legs forward so we can be get a better grip because I don't know how. Yeah, it's quite tight. I don't actually know if that's in. I think that might be. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, looks like Godzilla has a much simpler uh, articulation than uh, Kong. It just has the basic forward moving legs. It's a, it looks like there's a... No, no. It looks like there's a rotation in the foot, but no, it's no. No, it's no. And of course we have the ball jointed tail. Because, you know, you just saw me plug it in. Uh, it just has basic up and down arm movement. You can't really go all the way around with it, but they both move. Can we move, turn your head? I don't. It, again, like the feet, it looks like there's a neck rotation but i think that's just uh where the head is separate to the body and it's being held inside the body so i don't think that's actually a rotation or a joint uh, we do have a articulated jaw so that's pretty cool And once again, we can cover this up. There we go. So I actually like the fact that it, it fits in quite snug because it, it means it's not just gonna fall off uh, by just uh, shaking the figure about. Like, like the King Kong ha had a little section where you could peel the section the broken section off and so does Godzilla it has a little bit here so you can peel it off so that's pretty cool and we also have this um, I think this just I'm not sure how this fits in here exactly I think it's this way right so then he has his blast ability I can't remember what it's called some kind of energy blast and yeah pretty cool so to recap if you get this for yourself, it looks like it goes in this way up into his mouth because he has a peg hole up there for that. So yeah, pretty cool. Blue eyes. I guess it's because same with the spine because he's uh, powering up to blast Kong. And 
yeah. Can get you to stand. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I did remember we have Kong here. So, yeah, I'm not sure how accurate the, the scaling is because it kind of it kind of feels like Godzilla should Godzilla's head should be a bit bigger than that. I'm not 100% sure because Kong's fist is pretty much bigger than Godzilla's head. So yeah. Pretty cool. And if we look at the detail, so like I said before, I really like this uh spine spikes. Would have been cool if if it could have gone all the way through. But Still pretty cool. Feels like... Kind of feels like uh, this figure has more paint work on it than the Kong figure did, does. But... No, yeah. It, it looks like they painted more. Like... You got paint on the inside of the leg and on the outside. Yeah, on the outside a bit as well. You got some extra paint on his side. That that little piece is gonna stand out a little bit because that doesn't really have any paint on it. Would have been cool if they could have um, kind of disguise there so it fits in more so it's not as noticeable um but yeah he's definitely looks like he's got more uh more of the wash paint work on him like on his arms on his body not not so much on the tail. The tail pretty much just has this frosty blue um, paint look. And the head doesn't really have anything. Again, would have been good if they continued some of this wash onto the head a little bit. Not Maybe not as heavy. Maybe a little bit lighter. So it kind of blends into the body and I feel like this part this part here should have been uh, painted blue as well but still pretty cool at least at least they gave us the teeth <laughs> and the tongue he has a tongue even though the tongue's not connected to anything he has a tongue a very pink tongue And the blue eyes, of course. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's the Godzilla figure. I still, I still kind of feel like uh, the scale between these two, like height, seems okay, but I feel like Godzilla should be a little bit bulkier. Like, if we take a look at the packaging. Like, I mean, I don't know how accurate this is uh, when they're face to face, but on the packaging, he, his head is uh, is about the same size as Kong's. Mouth is bigger, so I don't know how accurate the scale on these figures are, but still, still pretty cool. I'm definitely 
definitely glad that, that I did end up getting these. Uh, we got Kong, as I showed last time. And now we have Godzilla, so pretty cool. And Godzilla can do his and his tail whip. Is it tail whip or tail swipe? I'm not sure now. I'm pretty sure tail whip is a Pokemon move. Yeah. Um, and then Godz uh, Godzilla, and then Kong can just come in and just. No, you're supposed to fall over. There we go. So yeah, pretty cool figures. Again, I I am glad that I got these. So yeah, um, I think I might I might have uh, I might have uh, said this last time. So if you if you if you haven't. Uh, done so in the previous video and you have uh, an opinion on who you think is gonna win once the movie comes out leave a comment below letting me know because for me i can't i can't really choose between the two i like both of them so i don't i don't really care who wins i just hope the movie's good but if you have a opinion who you think is going to win? I think I already just I, already, I just said it uh, twice now. What, whatever. If you do have an opinion, let me know in the comments. Other than that, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, for this video. So, if you enjoyed it. Thank you. For, well, not if you enjoyed it. I already, I already said that. I, I'm again uh, losing my words uh, towards the end of the video. So, so annoying. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.